Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab and today I will show how you can install AMB in the Docker usando Portrait. Basically, this program AMB it's an option for media stream. You can have a you can stream a lot of your media anywhere that you want using this program. This, this application already right, have some uh, application for your device, some application for your TV, some application for a lot of different devices. Of course, with some limitations. If you want to have a better experience with AMB, you need to have a premium option. But either the free option is quite good and work quite well. I use for a long time and never had any problem. So it's worth for you to check. In this video, we'll show in the Docker because it's required this video for the next ones that I want to post. And with these next ones, you need to understand what's AMB and how it's work, the basics at least. Then you can improve and do your own specification for the next videos. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show. But first, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's do it. As I promise, in this video I show how you can install AMB. But first, we're gonna try to understand how it's working AMB and what's about. AMB it's a program for stream media. Basically, you can take your media everywhere with AMB. You have uh, some options of uh, video stream, but in this video, we'll show how you can install AMB. Basically, how it's work. You can have your own media, and through this application, you can stream it anywhere. Doesn't matter how you get your media, you can stream your media anywhere. And that you can have access from the AMB anywhere that you want. You can have live TV and you can manage people's users. You can create to use A, B, C, D, and you can limitate some libraries for user A, limitate libraries for user B, limitate for library for user C. But for do it, first you need to have a server install. In this case, we're gonna install the Docker. After this one, you need to download the application or use it directly in your web browser to enjoy the media and you can stream it. Of course, depending what power of your computer and what you want to stream will require the better hardware or a low hardware and depend how many users will use. But this one is top for all the day because this one you need to define what you need to use and how to dimension your server. So now understand a little bit better how it's work AMB, let's go in the download option. In the download option you can have an installation for the server. So you can install in uh, 3DBS, Linux, Mac OS, Windows. Also you can install in a lot of NAS option or others. In our case we're gonna install in the Docker, but before we do it, let's see what device that can run it. You can have a really long options of device that can install this application. You can install all of those. Also, you can run directly in the web page, this one. So you don't need to install anything. So you can only open the web page for the AMB and you can access it. Depending if you do the proxy reverse, you can access using your site. Or if you use the VPN option, you can use your internal IP for this machine. Have this one in mind. Now we're gonna look for which image that we're gonna install this one. As I told, we're gonna install AMB in the Docker. So we needed to find a Docker container. In the case, the Docker container that I'm gonna use is Linux Server AMB. This image has been updated five days ago and has been downloaded more than 10 million times. So it's quite a lot of users downloading this one. So let's see what we need to have to do the installation. Let's go to the website. In the website, they say that this image has a support for architecture 8664 bits, also ARM system. So if you have your server running a computer or in a Raspberry Pi, this one will work well. So it's worth you to try to install. If you look for this website, they show you how you can do the hardware acceleration for AMB, but not show this one at the moment. Also, if you're using Raspberry Pi, you can do the hardware acceleration using this both procedure. If we come a little bit down, they suggest us to use the Docker Compose. So we're gonna install through the Docker Compose. It's good because the version of this Docker Compose is 2.1. So you can install directly in Portrait. You don't need to open the PuTTY or the SSH and install through the Docker Compose directly in the command line. You can use directly in the Portrait. That's great for us. Before we start to look at this one, let's have a look with parameters that we need to take care. If we go a little bit down, they say that the ports that we're gonna access is the port 8096. The HPPS website will be the port 8920. 
we needed to have the PUID and PJD for our user, the time zone that we are, then we need to create one folder called config where there will be all the configuration for your system. Remember, depending on what size of collection that you have, they will use more or less space. They can have more than 50 gigabytes of uh, data and all the thumbnails, everything you know, keeping this folder. So don't use a really small hard drive. Also, if you want to speed up your configuration, it's good to have a SSD to run all these uh, Docker containers. This way they will access quite fast. Now we need to have some folders where we have the media. You don't need to have a folder, data, TV, data, movies and everything. You can have only one folder called movies. They suggest you to do it, but you don't need to do exactly the same way. Now they say that this option for configuration is only optional if you're using Raspberry Pi. In our case, you are not using Raspberry Pi, so we don't need to use this volume. Now we have some configuration. If you use any hardware acceleration, look like Intel or AMD GPU, so we need to leave this on. If you're installing Raspberry Pi and you want to use the hardware acceleration, you need to leave all those. Have this one in mind, we come back in the Docker Compose and copy all this information. Now we can open our portrait and here in our portrait we look in, in our Docker and we come in stock, add a stock and we pass this information. So now we need to define the name of the container. As I'm starting MB it will be exactly the same name. After this one we're gonna look for the rest of the information. First we need to define our PYD and PJD. So we need to open our SSH for our server and try to discover our PUID and PJD. To discover the PUID and PJD it's simple, only we put the ID and the user that we're using and put enter. We know that our UID will be a thousand and our GID will be a hundred. Have this one, we can close this putty because we're not gonna use it and update it. Time zone will live exactly the same. Please modify for the time zone that you are living. If you are living in US, you need to put the time zone for US. If you are living in uh, Spain, you need to put the time zone of Spain and you understand the idea. So now we need to configure our configuration folder. To do it, it's simple. We open our open media val because I'm running the open media val. If you're running other system, you need to get absolute path. In other videos, I will show if you want to do it in a uh, Ubuntu server or in the Debian server, but as I have the open media file, I'm using it, it's quite easy. I copy my absolute path for the Docker app and come back here and I change it. I'll leave as a Docker app and I'll create a folder inside this one called AMB, where we have only the AMB configuration. Now I need it directly in my folder. If I come here and put home and I come back here, I know that my phone, my folder for the media will be here. And if I open my Samba, I know that it will be home and inside this one will have a folder called media, where I have my media. So I can minimize it and put media. I will change, I will not leave that, I will put media because I want that all the media will be in exactly the same place. So now it's all the movies, everything will be one folder and after we'll drag it so I can remove this one. And I also I'm not using Raspberry Pi, so I can remove this one as well. The ports I can leave exactly the same. Now this device I can modify. As I'm using a computer desktop, will not be able to run a Raspberry Pi acceleration hardware, so we can remove all those. Can leave only this one that will be for Intel or ADM hardware acceleration. So I have all these ones set, it's really simple, we only put and click deploy this stack. After finishing the run container, I put the message that the container is done, so we can come here in container, MB and see the logs. Here the logs, they already started to have all the information, they say all the entry points have been started. So now we can try to access our AMB. To do it, we need to access the port 8096. But before we access it, let's edit our ending point. If you come in ending point, local, and we change our ending point for 192.168.1.67, exactly the same IP address that we have here, and put update. Now we can come here and click in the port 8096 and they will open already our AMB. Once that open, we can start to configure it so we can set our language. If you come here and put English, UK, and put next, they will ask you to create a user, it will be SauberLab, our password. And if you want to put an email address, it's here the time, but we're not going to do it, and we put next. 
Now we need to add our library. To do it, we put new library. What we're gonna do, it's movies, and that's uh, we define the folder. Here the folder we put as a media, inside this media have movies, and I put okay. If you want to do any other configuration, look like you want to make a language for the load the metadata or the country or preference idiom or anything that you want, you can set up here. But in our case, we're gonna leave as a standard and put okay. Now we can put next, the language and the country, let's put UK, and next, enable uh, automatic port mapping, yes, I want to do it. I want to accept the terms and put next, and I put finish. Now appear this page. Now we can do the login. We come here and put our password again, and we are in the AMB. So only put two videos there, that is myself, no one can complain, oh, you are using something else. No, it's my videos. Here we can play it. But before we play, we look a little bit for our management. If you come here and put manage server, if you come here, you can set up some information. First thing that I suggest to you is to change your server name. So let's change it for Lab. wonderful. And here we can start to modify some informations. If you come here in settings, you can create what is the cache location. If you want to run the cache directly in your run, you can set up the folder for the cache run in your run. If you come here in users, you can add more users, as many as you want. When you add the users, sauber, and that you can put save. So if you come here in access, we can allow what folders that they want the, that user to access. If you have more folders, you can allow them to watch only the movies that you decide. You can come here in password and define the password. All time you can change this password for the password that you want or you allow the user to change it. If you come here in library, you can have your library. If you come in transcoding, here you can update the hardware transcoding, but you need to have an MBU premium subscription. If you come here home again, now we can play it. You have two videos, one it's a recording 4K and another it's recording 1080p. And now we can check it if it's working. If I come here and play the one that's recording 1080p, I can play it quite well. Let's take out the noise. I can play quite well, no problem, here is their buffing. If I come for settings, I can see that it's directly transmission for this video. If I want to transcode, I can set up if I want to reduce the quality to anything. If you don't have enough hardware, when you try to transcode it for a different resolution, you will have trouble. The same thing, if I try to play as a 4K video, directly transmission, no problem at all. But if I try to transcode it for a low resolution, suppose 1080p, if my hardware is not good enough, you will have trouble and it starts to buffer it. But uh, because this virtual machine is not so low power, they work quite well. Remember, at the moment, this one is only configured to run local network. If you want to extend network, you need to use a proxy manager to create a site or use a VPN option to connect to your network. And always you can come here in management and come here in uh, network and you can set up your external IP address or anything. If you have a problem to set up it, let me know, but in this video, I'm not show it because it's a little bit out from what I want you to do. In this video, I show how to install AMB. It's quite easy to install AMB, but it's worth for you to know because in the next videos, not the next, next, but the, the future videos, I will try to explain how you can link this AMB or this stream server for a different uh, networks. Basically, you can have all your data or all your media in different servers located in different places and you can merge everything in one location and have only one computer or one system that will stream everything for you. So if you like this video and think that it was worth and you want to install for yourself, don't forget to leave your like. If you don't like this video and think that it was pointless, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.